Greetings, the assassin here. Uh, I want to take you through a couple charts. The market had a major uh, suck fest today. Um, first, I want to look at some of the market leaders. Um, one in particular is FCX, Freeport, McMurray, and Copper. Um, this has been a pretty big industrial play that's often led the market. And you can see yesterday there was an inverted hammer. Um, and it really just, I mean, it's down 8%. And, and if this is any sort of key to industrial demand for copper to build stuff, uh, it's just not, in, the market is not in good shape. We actually initiated a short position here. We were, we hit our limit order of 60% today and got out of that. That's uh, That was included in our uh, NTS service. The other one, uh, let's look at the SPY real quick. And I talked about this one in our weekly wrap video um, last week, but you can see the 382 um, FIB was pretty much acted as resistance. We got above it a little bit, but couldn't get to the 50. And you can see these acceleration bands uh, couldn't even get up to the center line there. So this is back. I think we're headed back down to 110. Um, and I'm not convinced of this candle here. I was kind of looking at this. I don't know that we retraced all the way up there during the day. So that might have been from overnight. But we may get a little retracement. But I think ultimately we're, we're headed back to 110. And again, as I mentioned last week, if this 110 doesn't hold, we're looking at this 127 extension of about 103 on the SPY, which is about 1030 on the SPX, um, which is not quite the summer lows. But you can see last summer we kind of had the inverted head and shoulders here and so i'm drawing that line there if we break that i think we, we might find some support around here this may take a while to play out um, i'm definitely bearish on the market uh, in general but i'm going to wait to see what happens here at the 110 level uh, to see if uh, if that breaks down or not the other thing i want to look at real quick is gold gold breaking out again today obviously the market's down gold's up he had 175 resistance. We got above here. I think that um, I haven't initiated a position yet, but I think that we get up to the 180, 182 level um, in the next, in the coming weeks. Um, what I'm kind of looking for to actually get in on this trade is I would like a pullback to 175. So if we get a relief rally to sort of fill this tiny gap here, um, then I might get a position in there, um, but I'll, I'll I'll bring that up. I'm, I'll tweet it out too if you guys are following me there. Uh, the other thing I want to look at is Apple, which has also been a market leader, and it was down pretty hard today too. Not quite as much as the indexes, but uh, this gap down is is pretty, I would say, rare for Apple. I mean, anything, they usually gap up. But you can see that's headed back to its range. Um, this this orange line is sort of the high that it had uh, when it had that descending run here. And it, we broke out above that, pulled back, but we broke it, pulled back. Now we're finding resistance back at this, uh, this band here in the center. So, so where do we retrace to? You know, we're kind of... You know, this broke 50 support, but the 50, we'll, we'll just say the 50% retracement is holding a support, which is right around the, right around the acceleration band. Um, I would not get long on this until uh, we probably get, you know, if we get down to 330 level, you know, maybe 335, somewhere in here kind of where this breakout was. But I would not get long on this yet. I'm not really short on this yet, but if we get, you know, some kind of gap fill, I may look to... Um, get short on Apple. Let's see how this this trend right here holds up. If we can get back up here, you know, we may we, we may get down over here. So anyway, real quick today, um, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys later.